It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Hey, today we're going to talk about the HP Amplify program. You know, I know that a lot of people don't like it. They thought it was too intrusive. You know, HP was asking for too much information and all this kind of stuff. But folks, here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the shift from A3 to A4, the A4 revolution. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I think there's only one person in the entire world, in the entire world of the Documentary Channel, that believes post-pandemic they're still going to be able to go over-spec and oversell 90% of the equipment they deliver to the marketplace. There's only one. We're down to like one person. So without any further ado, I want to get on my ClearTouch Interactive Board. I want to talk about the HP Amplify contract, and I want to talk about how I believe that could be a threat to the document and imaging channel, to those folks that go into offices and sell and service and supply MFPs. So without any further ado, here we are on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a couple of pictures here. The picture at the bottom, let me get my pen working. The picture at the bottom is an office park. Okay, we know what an office park looks like. They're all over the world. Those are the customers of the Document Energy Channel. Those are the folks that we go into. We overspec and oversell now, but we're going to change that. We're going to start moving, you know, into A4 MFPs. We're going to get really, you know, sophisticated in some other deliverables. We'll probably include print, some IT deliverables. So we're changing the game, as smart ones are, right? But ladies and gentlemen, those are our customers in the offices. There's another print customer, and that's up here. You guessed it, that's a subdivision. Soho houses, you know, Soho offices, right? Small office, home office. Well, guess what, folks? Our friends over at HP have been selling into those offices for a long, long time without you. They didn't need you. They've been selling MFP, little desktops, to the small offices, to the home offices for decades. Hey, you know what? They just bragged about it. I did the video yesterday. They said, hey, we sold $8 million. Eight million. Eight million subscriptions. Wow. What do you think HP's thinking right now? Man, we can't wait for the day that Ray's right. And this A3 world evaporates, moves to A4, so we can go into this environment and sell our subscriptions. You don't think they're thinking of that? Of course they're thinking of that. But right now... They got this big engine out there called the Document Imaging Channel that they're courting. And those are all the people that sell A3s. And they're saying, hey, we want to disrupt the A3 marketplace with HP A3. Remember that crazy nonsense? So they spent all these last few years trying to get dealers excited about that. This, this last year, they kicked off the Amplify contract. People started screaming. They didn't want to give them all the information that HP was asking for. But ladies and gentlemen, what do you think that's positioning them for? That's positioning them for... You to go in there right now and put that A put that A3 HP in there. Go ahead and load them up, baby. Because sooner or later the customers are gonna say, hey, nah, we don't want that big A3. We don't need it anymore. We want A4. And the whole time the customers are thinking about that, HP sending them emails. I get like three emails from HP every single day. Seriously. HP, if you're watching this, please take me off your list. I'm getting emails from staples.com. I could buy an HP, you know, subscription, ink. Crap all day long. I can't move the jump quick enough. Well, guess what? All these customers down here, they're getting those same emails, folks, every single day. All those customers down here, guess what? They live up here. <laughs> they live up in those houses. They're used to these smaller MFPs. They're used, they know they don't print that much in a home office. They know that when they go back to the office, they don't have any pent-up demand. They're not going to start demanding big, giant machines be rolled into their office. They're going to be questioning everything about print when they go back into those offices. They're going to move to processes to eliminate print. Trust me, folks, that's what they're doing. Let's eliminate some processes so everybody can be remote. Regardless of how many go home, I want to be a remote workforce. That's what they're thinking. If I want my workers to be able to be remote, what do I need to get rid of? Scanning and printing. Or I need to at least eliminate a whole lot of it, right? We all know that. It's common sense. So as the world moves from A3 to A4, we're allowing the largest, the largest market share OEM in the world, which is HP. I'm going to give them that. HP owns the printer market. They own it, folks. They own it by a long shot. And the question is, as these, as these offices start realizing they just need A4, is that relationship you got with HP on the A3 going to transfer into a relationship with A4? Are they going to just say to themselves, we don't need them? We didn't need them before. And here's a question I want to ask every single person that's an HP dealer that signed the Amplified contract 
I don't know the answer to this, so if somebody does, please put it in the comments. HP bragged about the 8 million subscriptions, right? Sold 8 million subscriptions. You know, we're up to 8 million. Added 3 million of them this year. I mean, they're excited about it. Did they call you up as a dealer for them and say, hey, we just realized that some of the people that signed those subscriptions, well, they're your customers in our, in our business too. They just, you know, they bought the printer for their house. Or some of them actually bought it for their business, but they didn't, you know, they, they went through us. They went online. We sold them a subscription without you. Did they call you up and say, we want to give that to you as our partner? How many of those 8 million subscriptions do their partners get money for? I'll be interested if anybody knows the answer. I can tell you what the answer is. Probably a big zero. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot to be thinking about here. But the A4 revolution is about a shift from the business model where we had our heads buried in LLCs where we were fixing sorter brackets. That model's going to collapse. It's going to become less and less important. And we're not going to be able to live off the fringes of a few people that we can sell those to. Because the whole world's going to migrate to smaller equipment. And it's up to us right now to be able to be building those strategies to help your end users do it before HP does it for you. We need to start talking to these end users. Don't buy the big giant A3. Buy a whole bunch of A4s. Spread them around the building. Let people be convenient. All this, I'm going to just call it what it is, bullshit about running into these offices trying to save everybody all kinds of money around print is pure horse shit. These companies down here, they know that print represents 1% of their technology budget. They don't care. They don't care if they got five MFPs that they only had to pay a couple thousand bucks for, 10 grand. They can spread them around their building. And even if it costs them a penny and a half, a penny nine, or two cents a page, they don't care if you sell it right. They don't care, folks. They care about convenience. They care about reliability. Go in and tell your customers every time you replace this big giant machine over here where the, where the tech has to bury his head in an LLC and pull out 97 screws to change a roller. If you buy an A4 instead of that, you're going to have one call to every three calls that you have on the A3. Data proves it. If you don't like data, don't watch my videos. If you like data and you know the resources of the data, go look for yourself, folks, because it's the truth. A4 is a better experience all around. OEMs know it. Of course they know it. OEMs been selling A4 without you, without your permission for a long, long time. And guess what? Those A4s are getting serviced without you and they've been doing it for a long, long time. The only question the Document Image Channel has to answer, it's a simple question. When do you believe the migration from A3 to A4 is going to happen? You can live in delusion. We're going to continue to do this the way we've always done it. You can take control of the shift, which the smart people will do. Take control of the shift. Come up with creative ways to deliver A4 into this business environment. Because if you don't figure out how to do it, our good friends over at HP, they've already done it. They're already doing it. They're doing it with these silly subscriptions. Of course, if the business buys a subscription, I think they're going to end up ripping it up later. But it won't matter. They bought the subscription. Trust me, folks, they replaced the A3 with an A4. It's not going to go back the other way. You think they're going to call you up? Oh, I made a big mistake. I bought five A4s, and I wish so much I had that one big machine in the hallway. I mean, you know, our people are getting print done way too quick. Nobody's having to wait anymore. I just, I really want to go back to the days where we just had one big giant machine. I could call all you people up. You would come into my conference room and just give crap away to me until I decided to say yes. And if it was a closeout Friday, I'd get an even bigger deal. You see, none of that shit's going to carry forward. Dealers don't. Dealers, we got to change our thinking. We got to get our head out of the LLC. And we got to get our head into that business customer. And we better start realizing that in the future, and that future's coming quick. Our customers are not going to evaluate our service by how good we are every time we show up. Our customers are going to evaluate our service because we don't have to show up because we sold them the right products. That's the reality. That's where we're heading. And my friends, we all know this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see you all tomorrow.